Good morning and welcome to somebody's YouTube channel. Who oh. Good morning, one and all of them. <laughs> Hello, one and all! No, uh, we are kidnapping Shmi on 50. Yeah, we the back of the golf. It's a well. <laughs> Yeah. This is literally the most awkward video ever. It is, but I think that's great. No, I no, think I'm conversational not... videos is fine. I've got feeling I'm not Why? Feeling it's oh, not real. come no, on. Do you know what? It's because it's not shot on some like big Sony camera, <laughs> and we're not in, we're not in the FF. He's I was gonna used... say it's not super This isn't cost, like this so... isn't leather interior. Me, I am very comfortable back here. I've got lots of legroom, comfy seats. Volkswagen oh, group cars. Oh, you can't go wrong with them. Are we yes. promoting Volkswagen? Or are we doing a video? Right here? Volkswagen group. Today is all about the Volkswagen group. Oh yeah. Oh come on. Hang on, we're not. You're seriously slacking right now. I haven't slept. Taxi skulls and snaps go. Yeah. That's fine. Why are we in Essex? We're waiting to do something that seems to be happening rather a lot and been getting quite repetitive. Oh my god, so much. Mm. It's actually getting boring now. But the people of Instagram and YouTube love it. So, Tim, do you want to say what we're doing? I think I'll see. I'm looking forward to seeing how you do it. How will you present this? Because okay. I'm going to shoot my video in a few minutes. All right, okay. Oh, okay. So, we're on our way to Porsche Colchester to pick up Tim's blue. brand yeah. new Hashtag blue crew. Mexico Blue. No, no it's not Mexico Blue. 918 Spider. <laughs> trying to get more views. So, uh, we're all about the driving today. Yeah. So tell us about your last three days. My last three days. Yeah, where like I more specifically three, where you've been. Three days ago I drove I went to the Pagani factory and drove Paso de la Raticosa, then the coastal tunnels all the way to Monaco. Ooh, which is awesome in the LT and the FF. And then yesterday I was driving the 570S around Portimao of Portugal. And then after about Four hours sleep. We're on the way to Porsche Colchester for new car day. New car day. Can I just say again, yet another yeah. new car day. So it's, it's a Porsche this time, my first Porsche. Oh yeah! First Porsche. Oh. First, first Porsche, and I think every car guy or car person is supposed to have a Porsche at some point in their life. I think this is a real. They're supposed to have a Lotus as well, so I need to fix that one at some point. Lotus. I'll do that! I'm kind of skip that stage, but I'll find the Lotus one. Why didn't you drive one? Yeah. You Like you 
just describe a car as opposed to a car <laughs> yeah, key. As opposed to a key. Um, let me, I need to run to my uh, options list. Um, sea heating, dual zone in, climate control, light design package. What else do we have that's really expensive? I think that's about it. I think we're covered. <laughs> the fact you've got to use your left leg again because you're just used to panel, uh, paddle <laughs> yeah, that's the point of this car well it is the point it's but not, you're just going to be not, like if it was my, I, can be, I can tell you for absolute certainty I would not buy my only car as a manual now ah. a sports car it is just slow peasant problems but when you're buying the car to be your summer <laughs> slash fun slash exciting slash weekend slash I'm going to drive it just when I want to drive a fun manual car yeah the manual works yeah and that is the purpose of GT4. Um, Are you going to track it a lot? I don't know, to be honest. Oh, I'm you've got to at least give it a yeah, go. you've got to do it at least once. Um, but I'm going to track the LT. Oh. Do you know what? I think, I think I can imagine a track day where I drive the GT4 to the track, have the LT there, and then take over the ground. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure that will happen at some point. That sounds really like an awful day. Like, yeah, like a really, really hard day. Like, I wouldn't want to be you <laughs> with having to do that. You know, almost as hard as driving a 918. I've done that. that <laughs> that's what I was referring to. No, I, I'm, I'm running out know, over here. If anyone, if anyone wants to offer me at Archan Photography, you know, <laughs> I, I'm only 18, so I mean, you have to do some oh. dodgy insurance stuff. Or if you've got like a massive like track that's private or private land, just as good. You're not going to find someone who's going to let an 18 year old who's just passed their test drive a 918. Interesting question right now. So you have a mini Trinity, right? Baby Trinity. Yes. Mini Trinity. Which do we prefer? Ooh. Uh, Trinity. Mini Trinity sounds like a concept car. It actually does. The new Mini Cooper Trinity. No. But then um, baby sounds condescending. Well, not condescending, but like belittling. Uh, I don't know, baby sounds alright. The blue crew just fits. Well, they're all blue crew. Anyway. Some funny reference to the Trinity of Porsche, McLaren, Ferrari. Back mm. to my question. Now you have one of each. Yeah. Which actual Trinity car would you have? Oh, yeah, true. Mm. People can shut up with the oh, you're biased to McLaren. Exactly. <laughs> so, you've got one of each. Which, which one? I actually have. What's now you've dealt with all the brands. I don't know. I don't know. Tough don't now, you've got one of each, isn't it? It is, it is tough. I think I've quite often said that for me it's between P1 and 918. Mm. That would be my choice. That would be my um, choice as well. How exactly I choose from there, I don't know. <laughs> oh, tough question time. Well, these, these, you know, I think a lot of this depends what you want to use the car for. Yeah. Mm. Because like, Let's just say I had to pick one to stick in my garage and never drive it, I'd probably choose the LaFerrari. Yes. If I was picking one just to use for track days and, and, and like crazy driving, I think I'd probably choose the P1. P1. Yeah. But if I was choosing the one that I actually wanted to drive and go for road trip yes. and drive around London, I'd pick the 918. Yeah. Um, That's how I'd do it. So you're stuck in that like, I don't know because they all have their perks. Yeah. No, 918 for me. It's the one I'd choose only because I know it'd be the one I'd probably drive Sorry, the Tim, most. Sorry, Tim, just your face. <laughs> but it's the car that's grown on me the most. Like the P1 instantly for me, like aesthetically and. The P1 also. had wow from the word. Yeah, yes. exactly. Well, but the 918 has definitely been a grower for everyone. Mm. Majorly. But when it was first. Majorly, launched, majorly. You know. The LaFerrari is the only one I haven't been in. So I think that's what. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. I... the only one I have to mm. Out of all Oh, the yeah, you drove the P1 in Germany, didn't you? Yeah. That video was amazing. Uh, yeah, I, that, I, I you looked off. so happy. I ticked off P1, 918, Agira R, Hyra, and Vera Test. Agira R is a pretty sick one. And now I need to do a LaFerrari. I need to find a LaFerrari. So I'm going to do a shout out in this video. If anyone has a LaFerrari that Shmi150 can drive, yeah, but we all know. let him know. All Got enough room there. Plenty of room. Brilliant. 
Oh wait, there actually is a boot. There is actually a boot, look. Whereabouts is the camera boot? Ready? One, two, three. So we still take one with a proper camera. That's oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on, I need to get pushed oh, in the culture room. I need to be very corporate. Roger. had one really, really, really long day. <laughs> really that's an tired. That's an um, Tim's car. Tim's Such car. a beautiful colour. It is. I like the GT4 anyway. I love it. I just want him to use it properly. Oh, he will. Oh yeah, obviously. I'm just like feeling incredibly tired and that. You say you're going to end it, but you haven't pressed the button. I'm about to press the button. Bye! Bye!